that opportunity? Oh yeah, super excited. Um, I'm not going to treat it any differently than my past outings, but uh, definitely excited to get that start. Why do you think you've had so much success this weekend, you know, or this season? I feel like the changeup has been a really strong pitch for you so far. Yeah, just being able to throw strikes. Um, I think my first outing uh, against San Diego, even though I got out of an inning with a double play, uh, I wasn't really competitive and I just kind of got lucky. Um, but the last three, uh, I've just kind of focused on just throwing strikes, getting after the guys, um, and just trusting my defense. Coach Waz has talked about how, you know, at times there are people on the staff who try to throw to a radar gun. And instead, I, you know, instead of trying to let their fastball move and hit corners to the plate, is that something that you feel like you've battled with at all in, in your career? And Yeah, definitely. I still do it sometimes, um, even with, like, it's just kind of getting comfortable sometimes. You think, oh, I could throw this one kind of hard and maybe I'd throw it past them or something, but it doesn't ever work. Um, so it's just, you know, using my stuff like I always do, just throwing to the, throwing to the target and getting outs. You go four innings against Stanford last Friday. Is that the, the plan coming in, or is that something where you and Waz and Coach Angier would talk about in the dugout inning by inning? Um, it was just kind of played by ear. Um, I think if Sloan were to go multiple innings, he was, they were going to let him go as long as they could. Um, he just got unlucky with some errors and stuff, which happens. Um, but they wanted him to be able to throw against Sunday, I think. Um, so I went in and I was throwing well, so I just kind of kept going until uh, Rio came in to face Jones, which was the plan. Big picture question. Coming out of last spring, what were your big takeaways and how did that influence your offseason and the way you're going to approach this season? Uh, yeah. Um, losing in a regional sucks. Uh, even though it's nice to get there, it's not our team as a it's not our goal as a team. Uh, we want to get to Omaha and win the whole thing. Um, so just there really isn't anything big, but uh, just staying within ourselves, just competing like we always do, just playing every game to to win really any way we can, uh, and just worry about that stuff later on. You personally don't feel any more confident, confident, comfortable at this level. Uh, yeah, I, f I mean, every time I go out there, I feel pretty confident. Um, I guess, like, my first outing against San Diego, nerves or whatever it was kind of got to me, but uh, that's out of the – it's, it's gone now. And I'm ready, and we're all ready. We're all comfortable uh, to get this thing going. Do you feel as an individual, like, you know, you face Stanford at their place, all the rankings, you know, they're top ten. Do you feel like you kind of go up a level as they're added excitement, or do you try and stay consistent? Uh, I try and stay consistent. I mean, uh, we faced Portland the day before, and I treat it like it's Vandy or Texas or whoever the number one team is right now. I don't even know. But, uh, no, I think it's just going out there, competing no matter who it is. Uh, we don't, As a team, we don't really focus on who we're playing. It's more on playing just the game well, and, and we'll win if we do that. How do you anticipate kind of changing your mentality from coming out of the pen on your regular to becoming a Friday night starter and starting the game this time around? I really don't plan to change anything at all. Uh, the only thing that's different is I'm throwing in the first inning instead of the second or fifth or ninth or whatever it may be. Uh, my mentality is going to stay the same um, because it's working. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't really plan on changing anything at all. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Thanks.